it can come as quite a surprise when running photographic holidays for beginners that some students do not know that their compact camera has a zoom lens. Unaware, they have only been taking photographs at the wide angle default setting. Neither do they understand the technical differences between lenses and, least of all, a zoom. Ironically, they want to know about composition before they understand photography. Prior to the commercial release of zoom lenses, cameras were supplied with a fixed focal length lens, called a prime lens. Cameras that did not have interchangeable lenses were usually supplied with a prime lens permanently fixed to the body, known as a standard lens, because the perspective was similar to the human eye. The kit lens for most interchangeable lens cameras was usually a standard, but soon the keen photographer would look to expanding their arsenal with lenses that increased creativity. The usual choices were telephoto or wide angle, and different types were available. A telephoto lens brings subjects closer, such as wildlife. The wide angle does the opposite, pushing everything further back, often used in confined spaces or for increasing the impact of architecture in buildings. However, you are stuck with the perspective of a particular telephoto or wide angle lens, but the advent of the zoom lens soon changed everything. A zoom is three lenses in one, wide angle, standard and telephoto. But now, with a continuous and uninterrupted zoom perspective from wide angle through to telephoto. At first, the range was limited with only a three times magnification, but today, 10 times on quality lenses is common, and some zoom lenses expressly designed for permanent attachment can sport a magnification of at least 50 times, ideal for travel photography where weight and size are restricted. When it comes to sheer quality, purists will say that a prime lens is superior to a zoom. This is probably true, and furthermore, variable aperture zooms will only operate at their widest aperture at wide angle, often losing as much as two stops of light at telephoto. Constant aperture zoom lenses, where the widest aperture is maintained throughout the entire zooming range, are usually larger, heavier, and much more expensive. Today, specialist zoom lenses are manufactured for extreme telephoto or wide-angle applications. Prime lenses are made for dedicated close-up photography. Also, wide angles with a perspective known as fisheye. A word of caution regarding the use of cameras with digital zooms. They are not a true zoom. Optical zoom lenses change the perspective between wide angle and telephoto, and quality is maintained throughout. Digital zooms only give an impression of telephoto by cropping the image, thus reducing the pixel count and quality. Furthermore, some compact cameras with a fixed zoom will routinely change into digital zoom without your knowledge. To avoid unintentional reduction of photographic quality, this facility should be switched off from the camera's menu.